Football's about passion. It's a way of life. It gets you up on the morning. It's magnificent. It's fantastic. What a sport. What a sport. It's time for a viewer's request. Big shout out to one of our awesome subscribers, James, who did ask me or suggest that I take a look at FIFA Street 3 on the Xbox 360. So I was playing a bit of this earlier and there's something I'm not happy about. <laughs> Basically, there's no create a player in here. As you'll see here, this is the main mode, basically. From what I can gather, I was playing a little bit of this earlier. Oh, I've unlocked these dudes. These weren't here earlier. Um, you don't create your own character and, and then play what essentially would be a career and you sign players around you, like with the PS2 version that I did feature on this channel. So, I don't like how this game works, but on the pitch, or on the street in this case, it's pretty good. The gameplay's pretty good. It's the worst out of the FIFA streets that I've tried so far. Because I didn't buy these games back in the day. I kind of appreciated them from afar. I remember renting one of them, and I also um, downloaded the demo on the Xbox 360 for one of these games. It might have be been this, but it was a long time ago now. And yeah, I prefer the PS2 version. And the reviews kind of suggest the same, really, in regards to scores. This didn't do well. It got fives and sixes out of ten. It's not a bad game. It's just EA, I think, EA messed up when it comes to the modes. I love making my own Frey Bentos, dude. Uh, if you're wondering, guys, I call my characters Frey Bentos in these football games because I'm childish and Frey Bentos is the man. And uh, always Maluda is Eto. I'm going to try. Oh, look at that. L like I say, the gameplay is really cool. You can run up the walls and up the fences in this version. I don't know if you could do that in the PS2 versions. But I don't like the game modes. Like this game mode, I do not like it. And this is where I would spend a lot of my time back in the day if I bought this game. And it's just a bit lame. Like I say, I like creating my own character, and then you've got your... I think you sort of sign players to play in your squad with you, don't you? I think that's how it used to work. But, oh, 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 what happened then? I glitched through the keeper. Um, uh, Gameplay-wise, like I keep saying, it's decent. It's really, really good fun, this is. Oh, but it's not as fun. Even gameplay-wise, it's not as fun as the PS2 version that I did feature. Was that FIFA Street 2? I should have... Oh, that's a nice goal. I should have checked before starting this video. I'm, I'm sure it's FIFA Street 2, and I think James asked or suggested that as well. So, yeah. This is probably... Oh, there you go. There's the run up the wall. This is probably the first suggestion, James, of yours that I'm not that enamoured with. Although, I want to reiterate, I don't think it's a bad game. I think it's, it's a lot of fun. I'm just disappointed. I was like, I can't wait to do this FIFA Street business again. Create my own character again. And it's like, well, where is it? Seriously, I spent ages in the menus looking for it. And then I had to take to Google. And when I take to Google, it's not a good sign. It means Chirito is confused. <laughs> and like I say, uh, Google told me basically that EA removed it for whatever reason. And this is the replacement. So what is this? Because I haven't really explained if you haven't played this game before. So, as you could see earlier, I've unlocked what these guys what are called the speeders. Or which? Who? Who are called the speeders? I don't know. And <laughs> um, you've got a team of these players then. But you don't have to keep using these. It's basically playing challenges. As you can see at the top there, first to five goals. This might go on for a while. It does take me a while to score goals in this. And... I'm not keen on that system at all because the first time I played I played as oh what were they called the veterans or something and it was basically a lot of the old England players like um, Rooney and someone else and someone else and it's just a bit lame I, I don't know why EA went in this direction like come on let's get that other goal right there's another one 
I've turned the in-game audio off because there's lots of licensed music and YouTube won't like that. But I must say, I still love the sound effects and the player calls, the player shouts. Hey! All of that stuff's fantastic. Like, the presentation's, like, top draw. Oh, I thought I was in then. Oh! But yeah, like I say, it's not a bad game. It's just, it's not, it's not FIFA Street on PS2, which... Again, I loved. I, I wish I could remember which one. I'm sure it was FIFA Street 2. Right, get the cross in. Oh, there's another one. I think it's one more. Yeah, one more. And then we'll see another mode or another... We'll see another court. Another location, not court. These aren't basketball courts, Mike. Come on, these are, this is street football. This is serious business. And there it is. There's the fifth. Um, it's on easy, but I can't change the difficulty. It's kind of allocated to whatever specific challenge you play, which is fine, because as you rank up and as you get further in this mode, I assume, well, it, it's going to get harder, isn't it? 50G just for that. Whatever it is I did. <laughs> The days, the Xbox 360 days where, yeah, let's leave this a minute, where you could get, like, massive gamer score unlocks just for doing nothing. Like, you don't really see that anymore, do you? I don't know. Everything was a bit more single-player focused, e even in the Xbox 360 days, which is obviously very capable when it comes to its online functionality, but it was still... A lot of single-player focused stuff, which isn't the case anymore. Everything is catered, or a lot of stuff's catered for being online now. Which is no surprise to anyone. But yeah, um, this looks cool. I played here earlier, actually. And you can, you can welly the ball out, like, out of the street. Or what I call it earlier, the court. Which is quite funny. Eto! My issue with this game and, and series in general, my son agrees. <laughs> my son's here watching me play this, guys. He's really fascinated by it. Uh, what was I saying? My yeah, my main issue with this game and like I say, the series, the series in general, is I can play for ten minute, twenty minute, half hour spells, but then I get bored. Because there's not a lot of depth here, in my opinion. Uh, maybe there is, I just don't give it enough of a chance. Like, he keeps scoring that goal every time, and it still feels great every time. It's a bit of fun, though, at the end of the day. And I kind of wish I'd got into these games back in the day when they were in the zeitgeist kind of thing. And maybe taking it online. I'll try and edit out my son's... <laughs> my son's noises. But anyway... Yeah, FIFA Street 3, it's going to be a short video, guys. There's not much to say about this, because I can't take it online now, because obviously the servers are off. But there's not a lot here under the hood. Not from what I can find, which is disappointing, because like I've already said, one million times I love the other FIFA Street games which came before this. Let me know if there's a FIFA Street game on the 360 or PS3, apart from this, which is worth looking at, because that'd be cool. Like, is there one where they return to the original character creation, that kind of thing? Anyway, look out for the PES 5 Co-op Master League that Dave and I will be doing. As I'm recording this video, Dave's going to be joining me tonight, and we've got loads of other stuff planned on top of that. I'll speak to you all soon. Oh!